I don't know if you guys remember, my old sluice was called Frankenstein because he was so jacked up. Um, and he had like a little piece here of everything, a little piece there of everything. I got this two stack right here from um, a and Prospecting in Arizona. And uh, they, they just didn't have a three stack in stock. But what they did have was this chute, um, which I have a little skirt on it right now. So, and they have this stand. And the stand it looks like it's made by Arizona Twisted Fabrication. Nice. Um, so the stand, you actually have to drill it in here. Uh, the pump, I had to extend my uh, wires because I wanted it to run over here to my battery setup system and then to my solar panels. So this is just a tote lid. And then I've, I've cut these little holes so that if it does drip down, it can drain into that. Um, one of the cooler things that we've got going on, meaty section. So obviously I'm not running any material, but my tailings are gonna go in here. I'm gonna have a little bucket at the end there. But um, what's happening right now is it's taking the water from here. It's going up and over and into this one. So the way we, we rocked with this is we have this cut in an angle right here and it's a shorter tube. This is a longer tube. Obviously we've got this one up on the uh, cinder box. I've got my stand here. It is on a pressure treated two by four just to bring it up. Um, this is a little skirt that I made out of the ass end of my old dive suit. Uh, yeah, our butts aren't the size they were when we first started diving folks, but it kind of looks like a little skirt to me. And so I'm gonna name her Black Beauty. Not to mention, she's already got a couple really cool tattoos. We got uh, Bee King Outdoors right there. I've got Bigfoot Mining. I've got a Keen sticker and I got a Gold Base sticker. So yeah, that's all for good luck. And um, yeah, Black Beauty is her name. Definitely not like the Frankenstein sluice. Everything is leveled up. So uh, yeah, she's ready for dirt, man. I am so stoked that I got a section so that one tub will fill into the other. It's not that hard. It's pretty easy. You just uh, submerge the whole unit, cap off each end. The way that we did it is we cut two pieces of neoprene, like circles. You just put that on each side, lift it up out of the water, put them both back down into the water, and then you've got your suction. It takes a minute to for the pump to catch up with the water levels. Um, and you're gonna spill, obviously I did, uh, but yeah, this is Sleeping Beauty in all of her glory. Isn't she gorgeous? Oh, tattoos already. She's ready to rock and roll. She's got her cute little black mini skirt on, keeping the water flow down. If you do wanna see this though, I will show you what it looks like. Um, I do love her little black mini skirt though. But you see how, how fast that was coming down and why I wanted to slow that water down coming up over that. Uh, and this way that anything that will come down through, hopefully it's pushing that water down. A little skirt will push that water down onto that black mat. So that just kind of makes things a little bit s smoother and just an awesome setup. Just an awesome setup, you guys. I hope, I hope you all are having a great day. I really, really hope you're all going to find gold this weekend. And I just, I wish the best for everybody. And pretty soon you're gonna see me put some dirt through this thing and we're gonna find some gold together. Mine or mom, out.